y'all on today, though. I just wanted to kind of, um, you know, like how I like to do, go out, do some environmental scanning, basically scan around society to see what things I feel like need to be discussed. And uh, of course, giving you my little personal touch on it as well. Everything's not 100%, but it's at least 95. So I'm not gonna say that's enough. I'm just gonna say it's better than nothing. It's better than 90, at least. But anyway, today's topic is gonna be about professionalism. Professionalism, some of y'all might say, oh, amen. <laughs> Of course, Ryan, I work in more of like a corporate uh, office endeavor type. So, of course, I deal with this topic a lot. <laughs> Hear all sorts of things that take place. And, of course, normally I'm held to different standards. But... I mean, sometimes it makes sense, it doesn't make sense. It is what it is, right? It's life. Sometimes when you're treated differently, it's because your calling is higher. I read that in a book. It makes sense, right? I mean, sometimes you want people to hold you to a certain standard because if they do, it'll just make help you and build you. I mean, everything is all about building a mind. When I was younger, I never understood that. So I would say certain things and certain people would say, don't say that, say this instead. And I'm just thinking, well, if I plan to do otherwise anyway, why does it matter what I say? Because what you say is feeding into your mind somehow, which I grew up to realize. Crazy how that works, right? But, you know, it's simply doing What's right? Well, that's one way to look at it, simply doing what's right, even when no one's looking. Um, I'm going to be honest with you all. I mean, I know it's difficult to do that sometimes. That temptation lurks in the mind to want to do some things that aren't always completely ethical. It's just being human, which is why at first, my job didn't even make sense sometimes on how things are done because I'm thinking, well, I mean, I am a human and I don't run by a clock. So it's like, I don't understand some of these things, but they're put in place. And if everybody else can do it, I know I can do it right. So in other words, basically, um, I just, I mean, some people, it's more of a scientific type of thing that I began to learn and I began to think about as I went through a few things, a few uh, professional ethical errors, if you will, basically where I did some things I wasn't supposed to do, but it felt right to do it. And of course I got in trouble for it, got reprimanded. And at the same time, I'm still hearing about others who continue to do worse but face nothing so it's like i'm thinking what is this i don't understand what's going on why is it that i'm being beat up against the wall or to the ground for doing one minor thing which i was actually doing trying to do the right thing but you know how that works right but the thing about it is sometimes it's not necessarily what happens to you all the time that defines who you are is what you do with what happens to you. That's kind of just like school in a sense. It's, about, it's never necessarily about what exactly you, you retrieve. Well, it's about what you retrieve. It's never necessarily about what's presented to you. It's what you do with what's, what is presented to you. I mean, I guess that's the point of assessments and tests, right? So I I never really understood that because I'm thinking, well, if you're teaching us all this stuff, why do we pretty much need to give you a receipt? It's basically what a test is, right? Telling you that we know it. I mean, but for what purpose? In a sense, I guess that's just a, a way of evaluation of the teachers too. Making sure that they actually taught you the information and the content that's on the test. And then on top of that, 
it'll see it also so it's not only evaluation of the teacher it's evaluation of the student because then pretty much determines well okay so you actually did learn this this is what you took away from this whereas others might have not they might have seen the same thing watched the same thing but didn't gather it the same way you did that's what separates you from them i said okay well that makes sense i guess so i'm going back to elementary school today it's honestly in my head right now as i speak but basically i uh, dealt with a lot of professional ethical errors before uh a lot of people truly even i mean professionalism isn't something that should just be taken at a high concern just in the office area or the corporate scene you can honestly use this in just about any endeavor of your life i mean in my opinion that is, it could be restaurants, whether it be fast food, dine-in, restaurants, anywhere, convenience stores, grocery stores, any type of business. Of course, I've dealt with a lot of people who were trying to do businesses who do not do things the way they're supposed to. One thing in professionalism that I learned, though, is a key factor is one big word called communication. You see, communication is something that most people probably still are in the dark about. They'll say, oh, yeah, I understand communication fully 100%. But here's the thing. With communication, that basically means that you're scientifically, which means mentally, basically, you have to fully inform and fully communicate with one another. See, if you don't do that, there's gonna be a hole somewhere. Or, you know, like how in, I guess, if you take some Legos or some blocks or whatever, like you might do in elementary school and like you might try to build a bridge or something like that, or even in real life. I mean, if you were have like a, a bridge that goes over a river and all of a sudden you got some huge pothole in it, nine times out of 10, car might flatten their tire on it it's the same thing with information it can get flattened somewhere because you're not being you're not communicating i'm actually going through a situation in a sense right now where a lack of communication took place and after truly understanding it it didn't bother me at first but i'm just thinking this is an established corporation and that happened here are you serious do y'all have a true explanation as to why? I mean, I was just thinking, why? In a sense, gotta do better. When you further establish yourself, that comes with higher expectations, in a sense. That's just like if you wanna be the cleanest person on the block. Well, once you establish yourself as something there are roles that you fit into as you do that. And that's what people, some people don't understand. I'm actually just coming to understand that. You, that goes back into communication. Basically you have to be all in. It, it doesn't look right outwards from anyone outside looking in. If you're all this, but not that. If you're gonna be this, you should be all three or both, if you will. And if you're not going to do that, then don't start. Don't start something you're not going to finish. That's actually what my biggest goals are right now. It's pretty much just completion. So if you finish completion, who can stop you in a sense? It's another one of my big ones. Leave the baggage at home. Life gets rough for everyone. Don't make anybody else's life harder than it has to be. Everybody has problems depending on you know there's all all types of walks of life i mean some people have major problems from the time they're able to walk until the time that they're no longer with us and then some people don't really deal with major problems until they actually become an adult when i say an adult i mean that may be of age or actually becoming an adult another thing I've discovered. However, 
everybody has problems, don't make somebody else have to deal with yours. At least, I mean, and if you do, you can probably tell them. I mean, it's, you know, it's human nature to do that, of course. But I've been in some situations where things have happened to people and mainly at work where I took the heat because of that. And like I said, it's not that it's an issue. Some people need a shoulder to cry on. That's understood. But then that means you got to understand what crying means too, right? So then, then again, of course, some of you may be saying, well, some people cry or vent in different ways. That's true too. That's a good point. I know I may not vent or cry the same way others. The man sitting right next to me or right across the hall might be crying and venting. People do it and then some people don't do it at all. So, I mean, but hey, just at the end of the day, keep in mind, like I've dealt with, like, and I'm sure like all of us, all of you have, I've dealt with situations where I've had walk into an office or whatever. As a matter of fact, you know, on one of my earlier videos, I said, you know, I go to this business and get something done and all of a sudden, it's like, I be maybe bills do this and that, got questions to life that you can't, don't have answers to, this, that, and third. Your coworker that just ate a giant nice breakfast that somebody just treated him to or whatever and probably pulled up in a nice vehicle, you know, living nice today, whatever. He's not expecting to take brass knuckles in the mouth mentally or in the head because your dog ran away this morning or something of that sort. And it's not that you can't be upset about it. You can be upset. But keep in mind, he didn't let the dog out. So he didn't let the dog out. He might even be the one, he or she, could be a female, might even be the one that finds it later and brings it to you, tells you where it's at. Brings me to another point that I actually didn't expect to introduce. You never know who you might need. So treat everybody nicely. I actually had the situation one morning at work where they had a, a workshop in my building that I didn't even know about. I didn't even know what was going on until I got there and saw everybody there. And all of a sudden my help was needed. So I said, okay, well, while I'm helping out, they're constantly walking around saying, wow, you know, I'm so, that's why they say be nice to everybody, you know, don't be mean to nobody, don't burn any bridges, because you never know who you're going to need. They didn't know, they didn't know they were going to need me for whatever skills that I can't even remember that I even offered. That just comes in professionalism. So because of that, now you had a few of those people that weren't too nice to me during that event, but I'm just telling them, well, first of all, you knew about this before you came, right? I just found out about this. So let's talk about what's really bothering you because I'm trying to help. But that's just me, so. I didn't say it. I just, I guess I kind of said it in my tone a little bit. Like, I mean, you go let me do my job. You go let me do my help because I can go back to my office in my room. If this is how you're gonna act, I'm a volunteer. I wasn't scheduled to be a part of this, but you, they don't really want to see it that way. And it's okay. I mean, <laughs> what does that tell you in a sense? That's basically crying through your mouth. But in addition, professionalism in sports, I've been saying this a lot lately, like a lot. Oh, uh, it's actually kind of funny how much I've been seeing some things that just been transpiring. Some of you who might be major uh, sports fans, who, you know, follow like sports analysts, things like that. Y'all may or may not know, you know, of course, I'm gonna leave, try to leave specifics out of uh, my mouth, but I mean, y'all may or may not know some things that I may be talking about. 
it's just, it kind of goes back to that, like just certain changes happening that rapidly that I just was not aware of. We're talking teams, analysts, and I'm just thinking when I'm seeing the stuff going on and viewing the analysts' reactions to this, I'm just thinking like, wow, okay, well, I mean, was that truly logical, what y'all just did? Or somebody just being an abusive sense of power? Like, you got put in a position, didn't have no true, true reason for why you did what you did to whatever athlete or person in the office, hierarchy reasons why, but you just did it because you could and you wanted to. You see, that's not, professionalism is kind of a sense of basically maintaining a sense of discipline and a sense of control, self-control, if you will. Like I said, it's not for everybody, but if it ain't for you, then don't expect results. Uh,